Hi friends, so what did you have for dinner today? I can very easily assume, unless you were on a very some special diet, whatever it was, it had one ingredient for sure, and that is the common salt. You know, it, it's strange that something is called common salt. You know, makes you definitely assume that it is something very boring and very common and has nothing special to add or a story to tell, right? Just like, you know, the common man, the common salt. That is what the book that I want to talk to you about disproves. This book is a story of salt through thousands of years of human evolution. It talks about salt, the omnipresent ingredient in diets all over the world. It talks about how man needed salt apart from the food that it intakes and you know to survive. And it is the way man could work out to take carry salt that enabled man to spread out into different areas beyond where salt was found naturally. It talks about how all empires in history regulated the sale and production of salt as a way of controlling the economy. Entire needs, salt was what was taxed by kings to generate revenue. Because that was one thing that was used by the poorest of poor and the richest of rich. Or it talks about a story that cuts across from Europe to India. Different cities, the way they flourished, how badly they were dependent on salt mines. How trade routes were determined based on the availability of salt. But even more exciting than that the number of words and phrases that have come into our language because of salt. In ancient times, kings could not often pay money to their soldiers. So, they gave them packs of salt. Hence the word salary. Next time you get your paycheck on first of the month, remember that word comes from salt. You can obviously understand the word salami comes from salt, right? It's salted meat. But did you realize that the word salad also comes from salt? Because these days we normally eat salad without salt, but the word salad comes from salted vegetables. A man is worth his, you know, salt. The, that phrase, now you can understand why it comes around because salt was so important. Now I finally understand why in Hindi they say, Maine tera namak khaya hai. Why is the relationship between master and employee related to salt? It's a fascinating story. I do not want to get into aspects of different empires, the way this book is structured and how each of them use salt, how the presence and of salt gave rise to cities and when salt mines had some issues, it led to the decline, how kings when in desperate need of funds use salt. But what I want to stress upon is the fact that, you know, it proved to me that anything can have a wondrous story if there is a great storyteller. If common salt can have an extraordinary story, then anything on earth and any individual can have an absolutely fascinating story. I want to come to one other aspect which this book represents about me and I want to know if that happens to others also. See, I don't just read books because I am interested in a particular topic. Very often, if I am going through a bookstore, I get attracted to exotic books, to books that, you know, uh, are funny or eclectic or 
you, you know they just call on to me you know just like for many people this exotic foreign girl would attract them right they want to want to get into bed with her i want to get in bed with this book with a book like that for example i was in college and i was going through a book shell uh, book store and i saw this book called feng shui and i had no idea then what is called feng shui i didn't bother to read i just had to pick it up and then i went through the entire stuff of feng shui similarly on a lark sometime in my 20s i found a book on learn japanese and i had no reason to learn japanese and mostly people try to learn french or german or spanish but i just picked it up and then i went through it because something called me there is nothing i have read books on dowsing i had no idea when i bought the book what dowsing actually means it's only later i found out it's called you know when you use a pendulum to find hidden gold treasure if you believe in that stuff or kabala it's only when i bought the book that i got to know it's called it's basically jewish numerology but it's like you know something as strange as that just becomes me you know whether it be honestly a bit of conversation where people are, will say like why are you reading this what does it mean anyway but very often it's not about people it's not about their opinion or 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 any way you know reaching out it within myself it is something exotic and i must have it so salt when i every time i see this in my bookshelf it represents that feeling to me i would love to know if any of you have bought a book on a similar lark you saw it and you found it something absolutely different from what you would probably read with that i just want to conclude by saying again that it's a great read for people who want to have a different look at how uh, you know things are in life if they can open up their mind on common salt they can understand that everything on this earth can have a special story exciting story okay for me salt open my mind to realize that so many things that we hear and use in common day life you know like i give the example of the word salary are linked amazingly to something which we cannot even think of as a connection it told me that the salt that rests in the kitchen can have an absolute wonder story in our evolution and finally it told me that knowledge however trivial and not impacting your life is beautiful for its own sense and one should always aspire for it thank you